So in case you wanted to switch from Windows to Android and you wanted to make Android more familiar to you, then well, this is the right tutorial for you. Well, this is not really a tutorial, but it's more to help you integrate more with Android if you've been a Windows user and overall be more uh, in the Microsoft ecosystem. So first of all, you're gonna need Microsoft Launcher. Microsoft Launcher, it is in the store already for a few years. Uh, it was named Arrow Launcher, but now it changed to Microsoft Launcher. And surprisingly, the launcher is very, very good and runs as well very smooth. Well, some might say that, uh, well, launchers, they need more battery, they eat more battery and stuff like that. Well, that's true, but this kind of launchers these days, they really don't eat so much battery, but it gives you a completely new look to your phone. So first of all, you can sign in with your account, with your Microsoft account in the Microsoft Launcher if you want. I didn't customize Microsoft Launcher, this is the default one. And as you can see at the top, you have the search bar, uh, which you can search. You have, when you press it, you have frequently used apps. And as well, you have scanning, which this scanning is a QR code scanner. And you have as well the microphone, which with this microphone, you can do uh, actually a lot of stuff. When you listen to a music, you press on the microphone button and it will tell which music you're using or if you install Cortana, it will integrate with Cortana, so it's pretty good search bar. You then have the clock and the weather, and if you swipe left, then here is the interesting thing, it looks a bit like Windows, and you scroll down, you have your Microsoft account if you sign in, then you have your recent activities, frequently used apps, people, calendar, news. Actually, I like a lot this page, and the most common that is common to Windows users is when you go to all the apps, then here it looks pretty much like Windows phone, like Windows mobile. You scroll down and you have all your apps, just like on Windows. And this is how apps on Windows should look and not only one by one. Other than that, most of your settings, it will be the default settings of Android. So yeah, pretty good launcher. The second thing you can do is install Cortana, which Cortana is pretty good on Android and is even better than on Windows because it has a different design and Microsoft actually gives a lot of updates to Cortana. I don't really use it, but well, if you're into Cortana, then of course you can use it. Another thing you can do is install Microsoft apps like OneDrive, OneNote, Word, Outlook. I use OneNote a lot, so OneNote is a must for me because I can use OneNote like on PC, I can use it on Android here and even on Windows Phone. OneDrive, well, it's self-explanatory. It's as well available on most of the systems. And then, well, Word and Outlook if you want them. Another thing you can do is install Microsoft Edge or even Bing Browser. But, well, Bing Browser, I think it will be discontinued from now on since uh, Microsoft brought Microsoft Edge to the store. For the moment, it's still a preview, but it works pretty good. And one nice feature about this Microsoft Edge is you can, if you open a website, you can continue on PC. This website, you can transfer it to your PC. At the moment, I can't do that because my PC is still on Creators Update and not on Fall Creators Update. So this feature works only with Fall Creators Update on your PC. But well, it's also a very neat feature and lastly what you can do as well is install skype but well skype is like available on all the systems and skype is not like something from windows phone it's still a microsoft app but yeah this was it guys tell me in the comments if you have already switched to android and if you use maybe other launchers or what you're using on your android or if you don't want at all to switch but yeah thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one